In the context of the Ukrainian counteroffensive, Russia has recently announced a significant increase in its production of all and reconnaissance drones, as well as improvements to its weapons and military equipment. Russian Defense Minister Sergei Shugu stated during a press conference on July 11 that deliveries of Orlan 10 and Orlan 30 drones had increased by over 53 times since the start of the Russian military operation. Orlan 10 and Orlan 30 drones play a crucial role in military operations in Ukraine by locating Ukrainian troops and spotting vehicles from medium altitudes. This information enables quick artillery, missile, and ammunition attacks. According to an analysis by the Army Recognition Editorial Team, drones have become an indispensable tool for artillery units in modern wars, especially when operating with towed howitzers. Russian artillery units deployed in Ukraine have adopted Orlan 30 drones to improve the accuracy of their 152mm howitzers, particularly the 2A65 MSTAB model, using precision-guided ammunition called Krasnopol 30F39. The Orlan 30 drone plays a significant role in reconnaissance and target designation, greatly enhancing artillery strikes accuracy. This information has been reported by Army Recognition, a recognized source in the defense industry. The Orlan 30 drone, the successor to the Orlan 10, is also manufactured by the Special Technology Center (STC). It is designed for aerial surveillance, target localization, spotting, and reconnaissance of visible or infrared objects. In combination with a mission payload, it also allows target identification for precision-guided weapons to destroy fixed and mobile targets day and night. The Orlan 30 drone can fly for five consecutive hours, reach a maximum speed of 170 km per hour, and climb up to 5,000 meters in altitude. For comparison, the Orlan 10 has a maximum speed of 150 km per hour and a range of 120 km. The integration of drones within artillery units relies primarily on their ability to perform reconnaissance and surveillance tasks. These unmanned aerial vehicles can penetrate enemy territory, collecting crucial data on the terrain, enemy formations, structures, and other important elements. Drones transmit these detailed, high-definition information to artillery units in real-time, providing an accurate and up-to-date understanding of the battlefield. With improved situational awareness, artillery units can position and calibrate their towed howitzers more effectively, taking factors such as distance and altitude into account to maximize shooting accuracy. In addition to locating hostile equipment, Russian troops are also using Orlan series drones in Ukraine to attempt to suppress and destroy enemy air defense and artillery reconnaissance activities SEAD are dead. Russian artillery can theoretically react as quickly as three minutes after identifying a target, when the drone flies over an enemy position, leaving little time for Ukrainian soldiers to flee the dangerous area. This increase in production of the Orlan series drones reflects the growing importance of drone warfare, and the usefulness of reconnaissance and combat drones. Russian officials have already confirmed the use of spy drones to obtain coordinates of Ukrainian equipment. However, it is worth noting that the Orlan 10 drone, one of Russia's most significant military assets, relies on Western components for many of its key functionalities. Despite sanctions imposed on the Russian drone manufacturer, the Special Technology Center (STC), a joint investigation by Ruzi, Reuters, and iStories revealed that Western components were still being delivered through intermediary companies in the United States, China, and Russia, 